works with OCR for interpreting. <laughs> and I'm really excited to be invited to speak at this showcase. So a little bit about me, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I really focus really on my like passions and I'm especially passionate about kind of helping healthcare and especially um, sciences in healthcare and specifically neuroscience in terms of my passion because I love looking at neuroscience, the different neurological disorders in the brain because there's so many and you know they there are barely any cures for a lot of them since the brain is so unknown and I think that really um, is something that I aspire to help in the world and I hope to really make a difference and my goal is to really you know first identify my interests, find out what I want to do, and then gain the real life experience to help elevate that to a new level. And I believe that research helps me do that, which is, you know, a big part of why I wanted to participate in the Synopsis Science Fair at first. But besides all this STEM information, I also love to play the piano. I dance an Indian style, classical style of dance called Bharatanatyam. And I also participate in speech and debate, and I'm an officer of that club. So this is just a little bit about me before we move on. And now let's move on to, you know, what got me here, which is my science fair project. And so my science fair project is an app called Dietologist. It's on the app store. And um, it's really, the problem is essentially that there's so many tempting food environments around us and it's really easy to make poor diet choices. And the CDC actually stated that poor diet choices, since it's such a common occurrence, actually leads to more deaths in the population than any other risk factor, including cigarette smoking. So that kind of just shows you like the real impact of, you know, how helping diets for people can actually help a lot in the world. And that's kind of what inspired that's me. Much to do. And this is an iOS app called Dietologist, which allows the users to have a really quick, easy, <laughs> efficient way to scan the nutrient labels of the product and find out if it corresponds to their diet choices. And the real like main part of the app is if it doesn't correspond to the diet choices, it actually provides alternate foods that will. So now before we kind of continue with my information, I wanted to show available on the app store. So once you open it, you can actually pick a diet from the three options given. In this example, we're gonna go with no saturated fat. So then when you go back, there's a help menu and essentially the app actually saves the diet choice. So it ensures a better user experience. And then you take a picture by scanning the nutrient label of the food, in this case, popcorn slash chips. And the app, um, it uses something called vision framework and it'll essentially do all the work for the user. And all it will do is scan the nutrient label, take the text from the label and then read it to see if saturated fat is in the label. As you can see, it saw that it was in the label. So it went to the alternates, you scroll down to the proper food category and then it tells alternates, in this case, pita chips. So although that would be all the user has to do and then they can just go buy pita chips, which has no saturated fat, we'll be scanning the pita chips nutrient label just to ensure that the app is accurate. So again, the vision framework does all the work for us. And essentially what should happen is that since there's no saturated fat, it should come up with a check mark, which it does. So that kind of is a quick demo of how the app works. But obviously making the product isn't the only part of the science fair project. It's also the study afterwards. So I conducted a study with about 12 participants um, who used the app for a period of two weeks. And essentially, all the data showed that the app was successful in that 65% um, were able to not eat the desired food and were instead eating the alternate food. 99.6% actually said that the app accurately classified the data and 95% of the participants actually said that the accurate was the alternate was accurate. So that's really um, nice for the app to show that it has data behind the product. But obviously there's always future advancements that can be done to the app. So I just wanted to list a few. I want to really expand my food database of alternates. I want to increase the diet options provided and enable users to actually customize their diet. So they can say, I want only less than five grams of a nutrient or something more customizable. 
Uh, but now that we're done with the actual science fair project, what are really my plans? And obviously there are academics, there's all my extracurriculars of piano, dance, speech and debate. I volunteer at the Tharika Foundation to help advocate mental health and obviously internships would be great. But also I really wanna highlight on research and I'm definitely not gonna let COVID-19 stop the research. And I really wanna further this app in that maybe find some people who could help me um, like sponsor the app or uh, because it's already on the app store and I have data on my Apple feed um, of who uses it and people are downloading it from all over the world, which really shows that it's making a difference and it's getting good feedback. So that's kind of what I wanna do in the future. But finally, although this slide is, you know, filled with images, it's essentially what I want to do to achieve greatness through science and engineering. And I'm actually going to stop sharing here and kind of explain more about that. Yeah. Uh,